How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome back to another Dynamic Projectiles video. In this video, we're going to be making a muzzle flash. Now this is pretty much the lighting that the gun causes against your player and by adding this it's going to add to the overall impact of the game. Pretty much what we've been doing is we've been adding new weapon types and we've been slowly adding in new impact effects for these weapon types. Now a muzzle flash can be whatever you want and I've seen a few different ones that actually work really well. You can have a really big muzzle flash that'll just kind of go over your entire player or you can have a really small muzzle flash and I'll show you what I mean. Since our player is 10 by 10, we're going to want to have a smaller muzzle flash just to match the size. But if you had a bigger player and it was something like this, and I guess that kind of works perfectly fine there, but if it was stretched out like this, we might want the muzzle flash to actually go something like this big. And you might even want it to just kind of go across the entire player and just brighten the player's face because that's something that would give a bigger sense of impact and every time you fired a bullet it would create light and that's what that would do so let me show you by demonstrating i'm gonna hit Control z so we have our normal size guy we're gonna double click and make a new sprite and i'm gonna make this eight by eight but i think i'll show you an example of it being larger as well and let me zoom in Actually, you know what? Let's make it 10 by 10. That way I can make the brush size eight. So if we go to our brush size, there you go, it is already eight. And you're gonna wanna pick a color and kind of turn down the alpha. So make it 155 is what I have it on. So that way it's a little bit see-through, especially for when we put it over our player. So with the brush size being eight, it's not gonna be 10 by 10, so it won't go out of the frame here. Just kind of click once. And this is going to be our light effect from when our gun kind of just when it shoots. So what we're going to do is we are going to exit out and we're going to call this object muzzle flash. Now, every single weapon type can have a different muzzle flash, but for right now, we're just going to keep this the same and we're going to add one behavior to it. And that's going to be the fade behavior. Now in our fade behavior, by default, it's going to fade in, no, wait, no, fade out. So it's gonna fade out after one second. We want this to be extremely quickly. So to do this, we're gonna put it to 0.05. That's extremely fast. So to see this in action, let's go to our player event. And for our pistol, this is where we're going to spawn it. Just like we spawn our bullet, we're gonna copy and paste, and we're gonna spawn our muzzle flash. And I'm gonna hit save. And when we play this, let me bring this over here. You can only see it for a split second. So let me actually go back and let me put this to maybe 0.0, .0 hmm, let's try 0 0.09. And let's see if we can see that a little bit better. Okay, there we go. We can see that a lot better actually. But what I wanted to show you even more was what happens if we make this muzzle flash even bigger. So if we go to our muzzle flash and we just scale it up, let's put it to 32 by 32 and let's just leave it like that because it's gonna create this kind of cool explosion-y effect. So let's exit out of that, let's hit save. Now, you can kind of see the bigger difference here. And even though this may not look good for the size, you can see the impact that this will have. So let's go to our, let's go back. Let's go to our muzzle flash again. And unfortunately, I have to redraw this because if I were to resize, actually, maybe I wouldn't. Okay, that kind of worked. Never mind. Sometimes when you resize, it kind of just distorts the image too much when you resize it back. So let's exit out of that and let's actually make another one for a different weapon. So for our machine gun, or you know what? I think we have our laser still side. Yes. So for our laser, let's go back into our muzzle flash object and we can make a new animation. So what we could do, just like we do with everything else, we could rename this to ID Pistol. And if we made a new animation, we could call this ID Laser. Now on the laser, we can make it, maybe we wanna make it 12 by 12, and we wanna make it green because that's what the laser is. And maybe I wanna make my brush bigger to like 10. And you can get creative with this. And maybe I can click more than once so it actually you can actually see it a little bit more. And maybe I don't want it to be a circle. Maybe I want it to be some kind of oblong shape there. And let's exit out of that. 
And let's copy and paste our spawn code and let's minimize this so I can get to our laser a little bit quickly, quicker. And let's put it in there. And then what we need to do is we just need to go into our object weapon or no, just kidding. We need to go back. We need to go to our object muzzle flash and we need to set the animation to our ID laser. Now we could just set it to uh, our, where is it? Our state. We could just do it the same way that we're doing the uh, weapon type if we wanted to, but you don't have to do it that way. All right, so let's see here. So if we hit B and we go to our laser, okay, hold on. Why didn't it spawn there? So spawn the muzzle flash there. And where did I put the, uh, where did I put the muzzle flash code? Am I, am I blind? Did I put it in there? Spawn the muzzle flash, I never set it. Or if I set it, I set it somewhere incorrectly. So let me do that again. Let's go to our muzzle flash. Let's set the animation to ID laser. And let's put it in here. And let's try to set that before. Let's see what happens if we set it before. Oh, there it is. Okay. So then why didn't that get set? Let's see. Hmm. Let's try to figure this out live. That way it's a little bit more authentic, I guess. Let's go to our muzzle flash, make sure that this is ID laser. And maybe what we can do instead is we can have it so it spawns the muzzle flash. Let's see what happens when it spawns the muzzle, mu <laughs> muzzle flash first. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so it's not really spawning that muzzle flash. So let's spawning it there. Not really sure if it's spawning it there. And if that is the case, what we can also do is we can make the muzzle flash fade duration, the fade out time. We can also make it last a little bit longer. So let's try 0 0.10 and let's put that here. Maybe it's not exactly. This is generally my thought process when it comes to code that doesn't work. If the code doesn't work, you kind of have to go through it one by one. Let me also zoom in in case you can't see this. And okay, so it's working for that. And our weapon is spawning our, oops, weapon is spawning our muzzle flash at bullet. And now we need our muzzle flash to set its own animation. Was I just not doing that correctly? I thought I was. I still think I am somewhere. Maybe I just was completely not doing that right this entire time. And let's find out. Okay, I saw it spawn. There it goes. So let's actually, let's, instead of spawning it at bullet, let's spawn it at zero and let's see where it goes. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see that. Did I also set the time for this as well? Or did we delete that? We deleted it. So let's go to our muzzle flash. Let's set the fade out time to be, let's just do it for a second, just for testing purposes here, because this entire video has turned into me testing. There we go. Okay, so now you can kind of see what's going on and how that might work. So if we were to go to our muzzle flash and we were to Let's see, we could add a pin behavior to it, but we don't need to do that. We could set the position to it to be something else. So when we are, let's see, where did the muzzle flash go? So we're spawning the muzzle flash, we're setting it to laser, we're setting the fade to be a second, and then we kind of need to set the position of the muzzle flash to be on the weapon. So let's go to the muzzle flash Let's set the position, and instead of setting it to another object, we can just set it to the object weapon dot x, and then we can do the object weapon dot y, and then I think we're going to want to add a few pixels here. So let's try adding five pixels as well, and let's put this under here. Let's hit play on that. Okay, so we need to subtract pixels. We don't need to add pixels. So let's subtract from that, and let's try that again. 
There we go. So now it's just a matter of kind of messing around until it's right in front of the gun where you want it to be. But this is one way that we can really just kind of control this. And let's kind of keep putting it down. Maybe we don't even need to have it at all. But at least you can get that extra control. There you go. You kind of really don't need to have it there at all. And for this laser type, you may not want to have a muzzle flash, but I thought it would be kind of beneficial. And instead, it was kind of like, uh, let me figure this out on the spot. But I hope you did learn something from this video because having muzzle flashes for every single one of these gun types is going to be helpful. So if I were to go to this and I were just going to put the same muzzle flash as the pistol here, and uh, let me change it to from laser to our, let's go for machine gun. And if I hit play, there we go. So that's really cool. And let's actually go to our muzzle flash object. Let's zoom in on our pistol one. Let me grab the color. And let me just kind of make it dark instead of having the alpha there. So that way we can just really see what's going on. There you go. So that looks really cool. And it's for weapon types like that that we really want the muzzle flash on. For the laser, not so much. But I hope that you got enough out of me kind of live debugging it that it gives you some kind of insight into how I would go about kind of fixing problems like that where you have multiple options. You can set the position, you can double check if it's spawning or not, you can set the pin. If that's one thing that you can do, you can make a pin behavior for it. And that's what Construct 2 really, you know, strives with. It's doing multiple, having multiple ways to solve one thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I have another video coming out very soon that I would like for you to check out. It's gonna be about doing our particle shells. So when we shoot the bullet, we're gonna shoot some shells or rounds off and that's gonna look really cool and then they're gonna fade out and that's gonna to add to the overall impact of our weapons as well. So thank you so much for watching this. Again, I'm Jeremy Alexander and I'll see you next time.